Hi everyone, my name is Avinash and I'm back with a new video on uh, S3. Alright, so Amazon recently um, made one option like a mount point for Amazon S3 that now generally available uh, for even production workloads. So this article published on 9th August. Uh, right, so I'm referring this article and I'm going to perform same thing uh, as a video. All right, I'll put this uh, article link in our video description. Please uh, refer that if you really want. All right, so what exactly this uh, mount point feature for S3? So generally, if you want to access S3, what we need to do, we need to like, you know, uh, configure a role, right? Or I am user access key and then secret access key. That's obviously not recommended by AWS also, right? So you can create a role and you can associate that role to an ec2 instance so then you can uh, access that all s3 buckets then uh, you can like you know copy data you can uh, sync the data so but we cannot access this entire s3 bucket as a mount point right so how exactly we have these additional volumes so slash dev xpdf xpdb in similar way we can mount this S3 bucket also into our file system. So what is the advantage we are going to get? So we can use our shell commands like a ls command, cat command, uh, like, you know, or find command you can grab. So such type of all shell commands now you can run on our S3 data. That's the first thing. And second thing, so as it like, you know, the data show uh, the, the data looks as a local directory one so you can even um, uh, use that path for application running inside uh, the dc2 instance as well all right so generally these are the commands uh, s3 supports right cp ls mb if you observe there is no command called cat so that cat is a shell command right so i'll do one thing i'm going to launch an ec2 instance while launching i'm going to associate a role i'm going to take an s3 bucket uh, i have around 28 buckets now i'm going to take one bucket let me take this bucket so whatever the data i have here that i'm going to access from that uh, ec2 instance after performing the mounting with the local path all right so let me quickly launch an instance launch instance I'm going to call this as S3 mount test. I'm going to take Amazon Linux 2 AMI. I'm very familiar with it. Need to spend some time and explore this Amazon 2023 and its features. Right, I'm going with T2 micro and I'm going to take an existing key pair. We are good with this network settings. And instead of making it available for everyone, I'm going to allow SSH for my machine only. Advanced details, instance profile. I already have a uh, profile called S3, right? So I'm, I'm using that. Otherwise, you can click on create new IAM profile. Then create role i'm going to associate this role to my ec2 instance click on next and you give the policy s3 full access i'm providing s3 full access you can even go with read only access also if you just want to perform uh, read operations so i'm going to call this as a s3 full role create role now a role created so while launching the instance itself, we can give a quick refresh and you can go here, you can select the role S3 full role, then launch instance. So this is the, uh, the, the S3 full role. This is a role, right? So yeah. Now the EC2 instance provisioned let's get connected to this instance let me copy this in public ip i'm taking terminal i have the required key pair here
all right i got connected to my ec2 instance and uh, so now um we need to install a package right we are working as a ec2 iphone user so you can use sudo command to perform that or you can switch to root user then you can perform this installation right so here is a link that we we are basically going to download a rpm package named mount iphone s3 right let's give that here click on enter and now if you give ls you can see that you can you can see that mount iphone s3.txt is now um downloaded so let's install this so i'm going to use yum install mount s3.rpm press y to continue that installation all right now the installation completed and also before mounting right let let me uh, list out all the s3 buckets i have i'm giving aws space s3 space ls and it is going to list out all the s3 buckets i have so this is a bucket like you know uh, t avinash is a bucket i'm going to use now so if i want to access something inside that bucket i need to give aws space s3 space if i want to use ls i can give ls s3 colon slash slash i can give t avinash right so now you can see that it is showing all the data i have inside this file but the thing is right can i um can i open any file like a version.txt from this so aws space s3 space cat s3 colon slash slash the avinash slash version dot txt if i give it's saying like you know there is no command available for this cat operation that s3 uh, ap calls don't uh, support this cat operation right so such type of uh, uh, shell commands we cannot uh, use whenever we are using aws s3 cli now now i'm going to mount that okay uh, mount that s3 bucket to my uh, one of the local directory so then we will uh, access the data so first i'm going to create a directory mkdir space then you can give any folder name so if you want to give same as your bucket name you can give that otherwise you can simply give a uh, a mount point so i'll call this as the uh, s3 mount so you can see that s3 mount uh, uh, directory created here and the command to mount an s3 bucket is mount iphone s3 then space your bucket name i want to mount this avinash bucket so then your local uh, path s3 mount then click on enter now we can see bucket this t avinash bucket is now mounted to s3 mount so if we go inside this s3 mount if you give ls you can see all the data we have inside that s3 bucket and you can use commands like uh, as i told you like uh, now let me use uh, cat version.txt i can see that uh, information we have inside that file right and um, you know so you can use this commands like uh, ls you see it's showing everything you can even give ls space iphon ll it is showing like uh, all properties so basically these are the shell commands we are able to use all that shell commands uh, uh, here in this machine as we already mounted that all right so that is uh, uh, that is how exactly we can mount it's pretty straightforward download and install that package just run that mount iphon s3 command with your bucket name then to your local path and before concluding a uh, couple of things like you know with this um, with this mount operation so we are going to get uh, a good amount of bandwidth uh, the data transfer speed between this ec2 instance to our s3 bucket so the speed is up to 100 gb per second you can uh, refer this article let's scroll down somewhere here yeah the pricing there is no additional pricing and the performance see it, it it's it's elastic throughput 
and data transfer up to 100 GB per second between the EC2 instance and S3. And, uh, you know, this mount point access your S3 credentials that you, like, you know, when you mount the bucket, so whenever we run this AWS space uh, configure, right? So you, you can uh, refer this as well, like uh, what exactly, uh, how exactly the command, uh, the configuration, our credentials are going to be used here. So apart from that, I don't uh, see any uh, big points to discuss. All right, so that is all about this um, bond point for Amazon uh, uh, S3. Thanks for watching this video, guys. And if you're uh, if you want to make uh, such type of more videos, so please spare some time and uh, subscribe to uh, this YouTube channel. Thank you.